Welcome again guys, I am uh, Shuman Bhattacharji as you all know. On behalf of Shomu's Biology, I am going to give you some friendly advice about some topics, some questions that I receive many a times from you guys. Uh, one of that is, uh, what, what are the career options of a biologist or for a biologist? right for any stream of biology in India because we live living in India and uh, not uh, very harsh to say but actually uh, the the ground for job and all these things kind of not good here for biologists I'm just telling you harshly but this is a truth true fact that uh, you're not going to get a lot of those job opportunities there so what are you are going to do after MSc or all these things so that's why I'm, I'm doing this video you know this video is going to be the basics of what you can do what are your choices what choices you have it doesn't mean that you completed MSc whether you are a BSc student or an MSc student whatever you are you are probably now listening this video because you're concerned about your career what you are want, wanted to do so for that reason I'm going to tell you that that usually uh, there are several uh, options but uh, it depends on uh, the situation uh, that you are in to choose what what is what suits you best for example uh, for for handling with biological works you know uh, biology is this line microbiology biotechnology biochemistry and all this these lines are morally academic in nature because the application application is obviously there vast application is there very very huge application is there but uh, the application oriented fields are different right so majorly you, if you want to divide it into two sections you can divide it one is the research second one is the industry or the job so these are the two major openings that is for you one is research work and the one is going for a job in industrial sector right now the research work is different from the industry because in the research work you will be delivering uh, you, are, you will be make uh, researching on particular topics you will make the papers publish it and that's that's how it works actually you do your PhD after PhD you go for postdoc and after postdoc uh, you just come come back here and, and continue your research in some prestigious lab of India we have some some of the good labs in India many of them you know ISARs are good any any ISR are four or five ISRs are there IASC is good NCBS TIFR uh, CCMB then we are having in Calcutta we are having Bose Institute we are having IICB and so many more different uh, institutes uh, I I haven't to took the name of but they are they are there always so you can join any of this lab but again the competition is high because you know biology is a huge stream it's a very very big stream and zoologists are also a part of biology the person who are major in botany they are also in biology microbiology is in biology biotechnology is in biology biochemistry is in biology so you can see many uh, physiology is in biology so these are the things they are dispersed dispersely placed over the over the different places over the different uh, different uh, schemes and stages so that's that that makes biologists difficult to, to leave nowadays in India because the job opportunity is going very less because the seats are limited and the people with the biological degrees are more they are passing out more that's that's the problem so, so in that case if you decide that you need to research right that's the best choice as I thought so suppose you are in the BSc right now you're doing any kind of say BSc in microbiology or biotechnology or something like that biotechnologies have a little bit of technical line so you'll you'll have probably get some better chance or more chance to work in the field of industry rather than research but you can do that you can go for uh, research if you want because biology is a uh, high area or it's, it's a very very hot area for research works because a lot of things uh, are researched throughout the year so that's why you can come to the research field anyways but the research field is kind of completely different and you should know the bits and tricks about research field because it's not a very fair field I'm going to tell you that's a, that's the truth that's why I'm doing this video because for my own opinion I'm going to tell you my phone my own experience I'm going to tell you that in the research area it is kind of having a nasty politics that is going on throughout the India so that is a problematic situation I'm not frightening you obviously I, I personally recommend research if you are a microbiologist or a biote biotechnologist so in that case after complete completion of your MSc or master's degree obviously you should go for research now I'm gonna tell you though it won't sound like good but I'm, I must say that if you are con con continuing a BSc of microbiology something like that in that case 
uh, if you aim to go for research only, then go for an MSc. But if you think that you won't go for any research using these subjects, you want a job, a suitable job from where you can earn a good amount of money. So in that case, you probably don't require to go for an MSc most of the cases because you know masters are required majorly it's a bridge between your knowledge and the research work right so if you complete your masters and don't go for research it will be a very very lame thing it, it, it won't be a good thing to uh, occur in your career so that's a good idea that if you aim so that's the first thing that what you should aim whether you're going uh, you have the intention to go for a research work or the intention to go for a job in industry right if you want to go for a research work that's fine just go for a research work then do the MSc or masters then go to the research work right but again for going into the research work after the masters degree course you require you know you require to crack an exam that's called CSI and net right because in India if you need to do something with science do research or your own research and all these things you need to qualify CSI and net and there is no other option there is no other option to go for that there are certain options that I'm going to tell you in the other videos but actually if you want to do something good for your career you should crack at least CSI and NET because that should be your own goal for the time if you get CSI and NET JRF you can choose your own institute you can go into that do your PhD after completion of the PhD you apply for postdoctoral fellowship in the other uh, other universities outside India because most of the postdoc are should be conducted outside the India because in India there there isn't that much of architecture to go for that so go to other uh, other countries do your postdoctoral research come back here and find a suitable lab join it right so this is this is a how you can continue with your research and in that field your whole life will be uh, through the research work you can you'll be researching throughout the time uh, wearing that apron if you dream yourself about that that is the best choice you can have on the other hand if you don't want to go for the research team if you want for a job because you know it depends on your situation that I'm telling you it completely depends on your situation how you are in right it doesn't matter what you feels good you know in these situations of choosing career decisions the most important thing is to choose it logically don't be only hearing your own uh, you know heart hear your mind what it is telling you hear what is practical right now suppose you need a good uh, lump sum amount of money you want not actually you, you want a moderate amount of money you need to support your family you are in a situation like this in this condition you shouldn't choose uh, in my opinion you shouldn't go for research work if, if this is a scenario in that time you shouldn't go for research work right put it aside go for a job involve in a job because in research field though you get some money during during your PhD and all this thing but that money is very very less in India they will pay you 16,000 for first two years then for the next three years they will pay you 18,000 that's that's the general scheme in any kind of funding source all right so that is why you know 16,000 18,000 for five six years is not a good money to, to, to have in the in the meanwhile if you join uh, any kind of uh, work uh, group or any any kind of uh, industry your pay scale after five years will be at least 25 to 30 that that should be at least I'm telling you in, in West Bengal in other other states it will be 30 35 40 so you know the difference between those timings you know and if you if you think that uh, after doing PhD doing PhD is everything doing PhD means research it's not the truth guys because you know PhD is not enough PhD is the first round for getting involved into the research once you get PhD you need to go for postdoc postdoc is also not the last thing to to occur because you know then you need to go for and finding labs and doing interviews and all these things will be there and you can become frustrated in those time because still now doing your postdoc it will take approximately enough six five six at least six years for your PhD then postdoc another two years eight years after masters so you can imagine can imagine how much time it will take right so it, it will take a huge amount of your time right so that amount of time won't be tolerated won't be tolerable in, in that scenario so it will be a kind of if I say like uh, uh, 30 or uh, 32 three years of age you will be at that time and you still won't have a job in your hand a proper job that you can tell uh, or rely on so this is the problem you know using research work 
because none all of them can not all of them can actually involved into uh, uh, this uh, labs just coming into here because there are very limited amount of labs and all these facilities out there so seats are also limited if you join as a scientist in the lab the seats are also limited they want your experience so there are certain problems you know related with that now if you can go outside of the india that's a good choice because if you stay there for 2 3 years doing your research in different universities you get a job then come back to india after getting some involvement or appointment to some lab that would be a very good choice and most of the people are doing this choices because uh, and and uh, still but in all these cases uh, once you get settled your age will be 35 to 36 years of age you know uh, for taking biology or research work as your main course you will take all uh, right like 35 36 36 six years of old uh, to get settled right but if you don't want that if you don't have that much of time for example in my case i don't have that much uh, much of time so in that case you need to involve in some kind of job for example the job can be of two different type one is academic another one is industrial again for the job purpose in the academic line you will be a teacher teacher for your same subject you know teacher in colleges like a assistant professor you can join as a assistant professor or you can go for a school teacher so anything uh, of your interest teaching biology to the students that's a good choice you know i personally recommend it that's why i'm a teacher i teach students all the time uh, in college level students as well as school level students all of them so in that case you need to go for academics if you think that you will be a teacher you have that criteria to be a teacher you can explain things in a better way you can uh, people are listening to you in that cases if you get those ideas because being a teacher you require certain qualities in you you should be a excellent presenter right so if you have all the skills you must go for teaching in that case right you don't bother about research that much because in academic line you you also get the chance for research you know once you involved in in, in universities you can do your own research then so you can shift back to research in your late or middle ages that is fine that you know you can get both these things together you get good amount of money in india you can get a very good amount of money uh, as a teacher as a assistant associate professor in universities and colleges this is a very good site for india the pay scale for teachers and professors are very high in in, in other words for the researchers they're kind of same like both these cases so that's why this is a good choice and for my opinion for my case this is a choice i am preparing for this and all these things like that this is the second one and the third case using that if you want money if you if you want to jo join a job except for the academic purpose let's say you don't like academic much you you are not prepared for uh, to be a teacher you can't explain things that much you don't have that quality people know everything you know you know what you are good at what you are bad at so you know everything about yourself so just ask yourself if you're not meant for the that teaching purpose then don't go for it go for some other jobs like industrial job you know industrial means many food industries there pharmaceutical industries are there you know cosmetics industries are there so different in the and hospitals so these are the four major industries where biologists majorly enroll in you know any field of biology microbiology biotechnologists zoology botany physiology many people involved in hospitals pharmaceuticals uh, though pharmaceuticals majorly prefer be pharma or m pharma but still they can take you Uh, based on your interview so these are the regions food industries food and beverage inter industries and all this medicine industries so they will take you they will hire you so go for those jobs you know find those jobs involve in it but the major drawback drawback for for involving into the industries in the first place is that industrialists or industries are want always experienced guys you know they don't want to train you in that sense they want experienced people uh to work with them so in that case that's a problem so if you are not experienced you know you just pass out uh, from masters and you're not that much you know kind of experience you're fresher so it's kind of difficult for a fresher to get a job in india it's kind of difficult right in certain states it's more difficult uh, than others right so in that sense if you are a fresher uh if you have campusing that's the best choice you have that's why campusing is required if you are studying biotechnology from uh, good institutes you know uh, in that case you can get some campusing otherwise some other like zoology botany physiology these things won't get any won't give you any campusing you need to find the job on your own that might be difficult you need some 2 3 4 5 6 months to get a job but once you get it just stick to it because you know the problem with these jobs at the very beginning as you are fresher they will give you very 
very minute amount of money you know uh, like say 8 10 thousand 12 thousand so, so the money limit is not very good you probably think that why you, i am doing this job i should have done a phd i will get 16 at least from the phd but i'm not getting much you know but it depends of the experience and it is hugely depend on your experience once your experience like one or two years of experience you get 40 35 35 40 thousands of salary from that so you can get almost 30 40 thousand salary uh, in two to three years of your job span where you won't get it until 35 if you choose your research work in that sense so these are the logical explanation I am not telling you I'm not forcing you because I, I don't have the right nobody has that right I am just telling you the points of what I've seen for my friends for my students and for me I am telling you to you now it's your decision now it's your choice ask your parents work with them talk with them what your family demands from you whether you want a want a very quick job or you want to go for a research work which is your dream so just fulfill it but my only decision to you my only statement that you should follow is that don't go with your heart go with your mind look practical look at it because it's your career so it's career and in case of career you should obviously decide whatever thing is there practically right logically so that's why I'm explaining this to you right choose it whatever it is now what is the actual time for choosing what you are going to do you know the actual time for there is no actual time you know if you once you decide to be uh, someone with biological subject definitely you liked it in the plus two level that's why you took took it right now in uh, BSc standards once you're completing your BSc done now that is the time to think now it's always a good idea to think whether you're going to do a PhD or going to do a fast job once you're doing bachelors because you know once you're enrolling into the masters you don't have that much of time in your hand left to think so if you start that thinking at second or third year of your BSc or fifth sixth semester of your BSc that will be the great time because you know, if you think that I have to go for a PhD I won't go to anywhere else so in that case you obviously go for a PhD and in that case you should enroll you know there are certain uh, bridge courses or combined courses right like uh, MSc PhD combined course so you should enroll in those courses because enrolling into those courses will save you like like one or two years of your careers and two years of your life in your work life is obviously a very very important thing to matter so that's why it's always a good idea if there is a combinatory uh, MSc PhD or a kind of uh, dual program like that you should enroll it first right so that's why you need to think it from the BSc that's what I'm telling you because after doing MSc you can't go for it after doing MSc you need to do enroll for five six years only PhD program right so that's why you think about it from your bachelors but if it's over if you're an MSc student still it's fine it's not for you from you from now on you think that you need to crack CSI and it do it go for it crack CSI and it involved in some good research if you want to go for a, or for a PhD if you don't want to go for a PhD go for a job then again you know again for to be a college teacher again I forgot to mention that again if you want to be a college teacher in that case also you need to go for uh, or you need to crack CSI and NET because you know except for NET qualification you won't be able to go either for research or for any professor or assistant professor post in the college because in, in colleges they also want net to be cracked they also want net verified students uh, right so in that case what they want actually because you know in that case in these cases uh, CSI and net there are two different sections one is the JRA for junior research fellowship another one is uh, the lectureship or LS right the cutoff for LS is slightly low than the JRF you know generally it is uh, the cutoff for LS is 45 46 percent for the JRF it is 48 50 percent right so that's the difference so either you should get a LS or a JRF so if you want to be a teacher diehard in that case you should get a LS at least otherwise if you do a, want to do a PhD you should get a JRF but still if you don't get a JRF you can still go for a PhD there is an option people often ask me this question so I'm gonna clear it out in the next video so this is your career option I'm till I've told you several options that that are having and it's your decision what you you should choose right but whatever you choose you should choose you should uh, look at your present condition and look at your future what you want to be what you are gonna do and what's the situation is demanding you demanding from you 
think about all of this then choose a selected decision that's it guys thank you